Let's take a look at how to calculate median. What is the median? And our numbers are 6, 8, 6, 5, and 8. Well, that vocabulary word median means the middle number, but it's the middle number when your data is ordered from least to greatest. So please make sure you're always putting the list in order before you're looking for the middle number. So if I order these from least to greatest, my smallest number is 5, and then 6, and then another 6, and then I have two 8s. Now in this case, since there's only 5 numbers, you might be able to look at it and see, okay, well the middle number would be right here, 6. If there's a lot of numbers in your data, you can cross them off to work your way to the middle. You could say cross off the smallest and the biggest, cross off the second smallest and the second biggest, and that's another way to work your way towards the middle. In this case, either way, I can see my middle or median number is 6. Okay, we want to figure out what is the median when our numbers are 1, 8, 1, 10, and 8. So notice these numbers are not in order. So first I want to put them in order from least to greatest. Okay, so I have one and then another one. Those are my two smallest numbers. And then I have two eights. And then I have ten. Okay, well my middle number would be this eight, right? There's two to the left and two to the right. So my median or middle number is eight. Okay, what is the median? And again, notice these numbers are not in order, so make sure to put them in order from least to greatest before you look for the middle number. Okay, if I put them in order, it would go one, three, four, six, then seven. So in this case, my middle number would be four. Okay, so guys, all of the data sets we've seen happen to have five numbers in them. So in this case, we just have one middle number. That's the median. If you have an even number of data points in your set, let's say we had a list of six numbers, then you would wind up with two middle numbers and you would have to average them together. So if you have one middle number, that one middle number is your median. That's the case we have here. Our one middle number is just four. But if you have two middle numbers, you need to average the two middle numbers together. Okay, what is the median? Well, in this case, my numbers are already in order from least to greatest, right? Two, two, five, eight, nine. That's already in order. So my median would be that middle number five. Okay, what is the median? And my numbers are not in order, so first let's list them as 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, right, least to greatest. And then I can see my middle number is 5, so that would be the median. What is the median? I have 8, 6, 1, 4, 3, and 9. Okay, well let's start by putting these numbers in order. My smallest number is 1 then three, then four, then six, then eight, then nine. Okay, so notice this time I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So when I worked my way to the middle, if I cross off the smallest and the biggest, the second smallest and the second biggest, I actually have two middle numbers. Remember we said a little earlier if you wind up with two middle numbers, you need to average them together. Or another way to say that is find the mean of the two middle numbers. Well, to find the average or the mean, I would add those two numbers up, 4 plus 6. And then I would divide by how many numbers? Well, it's two middle numbers, so I would divide it by 2. Okay, well, 4 plus 6 gives me 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I would say my median, the average of those two middle numbers in this case, is 5. Okay, what is the median? 5, 9, 9, 4, 4. 
Okay, well, if you put these in order, my data set would say four, 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 I'm sorry, two fours, five, nine, nine. So the middle number would be five, that would be our median. Okay, what is the median? We have seven, 10, six, eight, and four. So first we would have to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So that would be four, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay, and then the middle number would be seven, so that would be our median. What is the median? Three, three, eight, five, five. Okay, well these are not quite in order, right? If I put them in order, it would say three, three, five, five, eight. Right, we're always saying from least to greatest. So the middle number would be five. That's our median. What is the median? One, two, three, four, six, two. Okay, so these are not quite in order because at two, I would have to say one, two, then two, and then three, four, and six. So notice again, I have an even number, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna wind up with two middle numbers. So if I cross off the smallest and the biggest, the second smallest, the second biggest, my two middle numbers are two and three. So remember a little earlier we said when you wind up with two middle numbers, you need to average them together, or in other words, find the mean of those two middle numbers. So that means I'm gonna add them together and divide by how many numbers there are. There's two numbers that I'm averaging together, so I would divide that by two. Okay, well two plus three is five, so five divided by two, that's gonna give me 2.5. So my median is 2.5. Now notice, when you have to average the two middle numbers, sometimes you wind up with a median that wasn't one of the numbers in your list. That's okay, right? 2.5 was not in our list. It's because I averaged two and three. It's still the median.